The former MGM Grant is now Bally's here on Flamingo near Las Vegas Boulevard. The building still stands today, but with a history many cannot forget. These were gaming chips that were melted together. Mementos and memories. These are pictures of both the building, uh, the fire. Charlie Lombardo shares snapshots showing the devastation of the deadly MGM Grand Fire 40 years ago. This is a crap table. This was the casino cage. Just burned. Just, just burned. Reminders of the morning the former slot mechanic survived. It was a fireball. Video from that day shows plumes of smoke rising from the building. The aftermath of an electrical fire in the deli restaurant. It spread through the casino, which did not have sprinklers. Lombardo recalls crawling on his hands and knees to get out after hearing an overhead announcement to evacuate the building. Well, I went maybe six, eight feet. I thought, this is nuts. And I turned around and went back because it was clear behind me. He eventually found an exit, but not before warning colleagues in a coin counting room to get out. I went and pounded on the door, got their attention, and I, and I, as they were opening the door, I could see smoke coming out of the air vents in that room. There were a lot of people up and down, going up and down the hallways. Meanwhile, firefighters like Stanley Grismanis kiss ran inside. There were there were never any any fires like it. Of course, you know that was pretty pretty dramatic. Grismanis kiss cleared the 17th and 23rd floors. He came across bodies in the rooms and hallways. There were so many dead people right at the elevators that I had to move. Creating a path to help people escape to the roof and get airlifted out by helicopters. There's the helicopter. His wife, Becky, also seeing the bodies later that evening. There were a bunch of them by the registration desk, and they were literally um, burned to death in a motion, like running. The former criminal investigator at the district attorney's office probed the fire, looking for building code violations to determine county liability. It was, that's terrible. And you know, you don't ever forget that. A burning memory with a keepsake, a gaming chip similar to Lombardo's, just a few items that remain from that day on the strip. Kristen Drummond, 8 News Now.